Hey, what's up everybody? All three of you that watch my MLP reactions. Stick Boy here and we have another Let's Watch and it is MLP. Uh, this is going to be season 7 episode number 22. We are 22 episodes in which means we are four episodes away from the finale. There's 23, 24, 25. No? We're, we're four away counting this one because uh, I think of the finale two-parter as a single episode because, let's face it, it's going to be one long episode. You know it, I know it. People like to say it's two episodes, but we all know that it's one episode. Anyways, um, yeah, we're, we're that close. Um, we're four away counting this one. Um, this one is called uh, Once Upon a Zeppelin, which is a really intriguing title. I know I say that a lot, but um, I just can't imagine. Uh, I know that a Zeppelin, um, you know, assuming that we're not not talking about Led Zeppelin here um, in the world of Equestria, um, a Zeppelin is a type of an airship, kind of like a blimp maybe, only bigger and sturdier. Now, we've seen, um, I'm trying to remember, see that's a, that's a, fair piece of uh, technology for Equestria. I'm trying to remember if we've seen airships. I seem to remember that we have seen an airship in this show before. Uh, I just can't remember where. But it, it just, it seems like, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about the movie trailer, but it just seems like it's been longer ago than that. It seems like it was in an episode, but it's been a very long time. But anyways, airships are obviously a thing. Zeppelins are a thing. Um, so, other than that, I have absolutely no clue uh, what we're going to do with a Zeppelin. So, I'm just going to jump right into this thing. I've wasted enough time already. So, let's go ahead and get this started. This is My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 7, Episode 22, 3, 2, 1, play. We've got Twilight looking very uh, unenthused. Oh, man, she broke her... Oh, good job, Spike. That was almost a disaster. Hey, oh, haven't seen him burp up a letter in a while. Psst. Yeah, it hasn't been that long, hasn't it? It's from my parents. Spike, oh. We want a Zeppelin cruise and get to take the whole family. Okay, so. Oh, I wish I had time to go with them. Bringing the Zeppelin right in here. Duties I have to take care of. Like what? Come on, Twilight. Even Princess Celestia takes a break sometimes. And yeah. She She'll probably take a break here in the finale and make your ass do all the work, so take that vacation while you can. That's pretty nice of her to want Spike. Yeah, don't let it go to your head, Spike. We all remember what happened the last time. Yes, you should, Twilight. We all remember what happened the last time Spike had princess duties. Let's not let it get to your head yet, Spike. My little pony, I used to wonder what friendship could be. Share its magic with me. Tons of fun, faithful and strong. It's an easy feat, all complete. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I hope nobody outside can hear me singing that theme song. Anyways, here we go. Hello, Twilight's mom and dad. She won't admit it, but when your mother says relaxing vacation, she means doing something crazy. Last time she ended up bungee jumping over Luna Bay. What was that, hon? Oh, I was uh, just telling Twilight about my new uh, bingo <laughs> strategy book. It's a real So Twilight's mom is a adrenaline junkie. Oh, I can't wait to get on this Zeppelin and fly like a And Twilight princess. doesn't know it, apparently. I remember you getting airsick on Admiral Fairweather's wild ride at Pony Island. Oh, please. I grew out of air sickness a long time ago. Who? Shining armor? Look like a wiener? Never. You ponies feel welcome to more because you are. 
<laughs> Is that Iron Wheel? It was an assertive welcome, wasn't it? Something tells me your uh, announcer is going to know all about being assertive. So we're going to see Iron Will? And what's he doing driving a Zeppelin? I guess we're going to find out. Yes, this is what it's like to be big time prize winners. <laughs> I just wish I could remember what contest we won. Wait, you don't know where this prize came from? When some pony offers you a free vacation, you just sign the paperwork and don't ask questions. Is that right? Especially when it means we all get to fly off together. What should we do first? Well, I did categorize the ship's activities and make a schedule. Because I remember this one time I heard there was a guy in Nigeria that had like a bazillion dollars for me. But I was really glad I read the fine print on that one. You would. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, Flurry Heart. This barrel jumping at Niagara Falls sounds interesting. Niagara Falls. I just want to see you all have a good time. And this works out perfectly because we have room for the one thing I want to do. Our ship passes the frozen north at sunset, which is the only time you can see the astrological phenomenon known as the Northern Stars. It's like the star nice. shooting out of the setting sun. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, we definitely don't want to miss that. Well, that didn't sound sarcastic at all. Hmm. But we don't have anything I'm with you, Twilight. That does sound like it would be pretty awesome. Attention, cruise pony. Don't let this Zeppelin be a bore. Leave your room and see the tour. <laughs> a tour could be fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, that guy. Not the king of the world, are you? Flurry may be airsick. Since I know that isn't a problem for you, would you mind taking her below? Why do I rat? You can just make out the white tufts of cloud there, where Princess Twilight Sparkle once toured the weather factory. Oh, oh, How do you know that? And why announce it on a cruise? Hmm. Uh-oh. Why don't we move to the other side of the deck? We are now high enough to see all of Tenwat. Even the royal tree where Princess Twilight and her brother Shining Armor were born. What? That's not right. Um, you guys know that's not where we were born. Right? I'm so excited about it. Well, it is a it's not like they're nice twins or anything. Hey, say it. Don't spray it, miss. Now they're getting into it. Oh, this is a merchandising trip, isn't it? Remember Twilight meeting Iron Will. Started a new career, organizing themed vacation packages. I love this guy. Vacation is every pony. Stop your hooves if you are here for the premiere cruise of the princess's experience. Oh boy. So much for vacation. You've got princess duties. Iron Will, I'm not sure it was entirely honest of you to offer this cruise to my family without telling us that ponies bought tickets 
You've got more princess duties now than you did back at the castle. Right. Seems like the best time to read the fine print. Especially if you didn't enter. <laughs> on board. As much as I want a family vacation, I don't think I could entertain all these cruise ponies. My hooves are pretty full taking care of Flurry Heart. I guess we were just so excited. Now, how did the, the family cruise? How did the ponies aboard the cruise ship not recognize the princess before Ironwell pointed them out? It's not like they came in undercover. You want? Will you promise that my family gets to do the activities they want? Sis, you don't have to do that. Mm. Well, you can do yourself too. I don't want the vacation to end now, or let down all of these ponies who are looking forward to seeing us. So what do you say, Ironwell? Do we have a deal? Princess Twilight has a deal. Great. So it looks like we have some time before Dad plays bingo. Actually, we have just enough to pick the winner of our grand prize raffle. Oh, well, who doesn't like prizes? Of course. All right, Tony. When the Zeppelin flies, it's time for a prize. <laughs> Thank you all for being so gracious and respectful to me and my family. And now, without further ado, the winner is... Congratulations, Star Tracker. Star Tracker, huh? Okay, Dad. Bingo time. Wonder if he's here to see the Northern Stars. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have a prize. Congratulations to He got up there in a hurry, didn't he? Who wins the grand prize? Spending the day with Twilight. Has an honorary member of her family. <laughs> of her family. I reckon that was in the fine print too. Sure. There's always room at the bingo table. Hey, he's in. He's in for whatever. Dad, what did he say? He said to give it a whirl. Oh. Yeah, a little bit close there, huh? Dude. Princess Bingo! Princess Bingo! He's like that guy on, uh, how's he keep getting back and forth? My favorite time of day. <laughs> He's like that guy on Mr. Deeds. He just sneaks up. You never see him coming. He is very, very sneaky. Just made it. And I'm ready to give you the tiny boat race of your life. Are you sure you're not airsick? Did he just swallow his own puke? Because that's horrible. It totally cancels out. I don't think that's how it works. But I'm ready if you are. How do they not notice that he's airsick? Well, I suppose I could race your brother. Oh, well, as long as Shining Armor gets to race, I'm happy. I think Twilight wanted to race. Yeah, just. I'm gonna write about this race tonight in my journal. <laughs> oh, it's just so exciting. This guy, this guy needs to cool it. She should have like shielded herself and let him get wet. That would have been really funny. I'm getting out of this boat because of how not sick I feel. Oh, that's all right, dear. We'll take you back to the room. Well, at least somebody noticed. That was just the working of Ted. Now, who's 
ready to see a princess face <laughs> when they win the race. Yay. A lot of babies on board. Cadence, I'm so glad you got in the Pee Wee Princess playtime. Flurry is having a wonderful time. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm just on my way to take some old time evolution photos. Theme photo shoots are the best. <laughs> oh, dude, God, I just. A quick question and answer session on becoming an alicorn. Before Mom's barrel ride at Niagara Falls. You really hope I don't miss that. Niagara Falls. Twilight, are it's you just... sure you don't mind doing all of these princess activities? Mind? What? Absolutely not. I mean, you guys are having fun, right? Mm. Twilight. I have to make sure these blue ponies are happy. You're going to have to say something. Princess. You're already a good princess, Twilight. Honestly, as long as I get to see the Northern She is a good princess. Every pony, I'll be happy. But right now, she's going to end up having to choose, isn't she? She's going to end up having to choose something over seeing the Northern Stars, isn't she? Because she just made a big deal out of it. Oh, Twilight, you should be used to two-parters by now. In the books, hon. Oh, honey, I know you're disappointed, but we waited as long as we could. Maybe you should take a break from these princess things. You're gonna have to say something, Twilight. Disappointed? No. I've just been answering yeah, some details you are. about allegories. You know how much I love details. I just don't want you to forget. It's your vacation, too. You gotta say something, Twilight. I want a totally successful vacation. All right. Well, uh, we can't wait to see those northern stars. And I know that Iron Will kind of put... Iron Will lived up to his side of the park. And Princess Twilight only has one more thing to do for the day. She didn't have to volunteer for this, but at the same time... She found herself in a really awkward position. And... That, is, that is Iron Will's fault. Damn. How long have you been waiting? You should have been first in line, dude. You never get off of her butt. What time is it? Oh, she's gonna yeah, she's gonna miss it, isn't she? Hmm. Was it just the one? You'd been here to see it, sweet pea, but we're sure you're making a whole bunch of cruise ponies happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I could cry. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a trigger word, isn't it? Happy. Family is happy. Even Iron Will is happy. <laughs> you know who isn't happy? Me! <laughs> oh, my heart. I'm sorry, but maybe that wouldn't have happened if Practically standing on my tail. Damn. You don't see Twilight lose it like that very often, do you? I only made that deal with Iron Will so my family and the cruise ponies could have the vacation they wanted. What about? I guess that was coming sooner or later, but. I just want every pony to be happy. Well, sometimes ponies yeah. want more from a princess than you can give. And it can be hard to know where to draw the line. You seem to know pretty well. Once I had Flurry Heart, the line was easier for me to see. You will always have obligations as a mm -hmm. princess, but you also have an obligation to yourself. Sad Twilight is adorable. You're right. Yet sad. I think I need to set some boundaries. But first, I owe some pony apology. 
Oh, how's that, dearie? Better, thanks. But uh, I think I should go. No, Star Tracker. You should stay. I have something to tell you. All of <laughs> Dude, he's like scared of her now. But I should have stood up for myself so that I could do what I wanted too. It wasn't fair of me to lash out at you. If I felt like you were standing too close, I should have said something. I'm sorry. Yeah. What do you say we do something off the schedule? <laughs> yeah, Twilight do something off the schedule? What sorcery is this? Alright, Iron Will. Oh no! Leave the princess alone! What did you say to Iron Will? It's okay, every pony. Um, yeah. <clears throat> First, I want to thank all of you for coming. It means a lot that you'd spend your hard earned bits just to be with us. But I Iron Will, you should probably not piss her off. off I'm just saying. I am just a pony. I make mistakes from time to <clears throat> Sorry. Got something in my throat there. Well, they understand, don't they? Well, that's a good question now, isn't it? But I will learn his lesson before. Satisfaction not guaranteed. What? Okay, yeah. <laughs> nice wow. shoot. He may be pushy and manipulative, but no pony can say that Minotaur isn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's still plenty of activities. We passed Philadelphia on the way back. That might be one of Shining Armor's best lines ever. That's very thoughtful. But right now, the family and I have something scheduled for you. Behold the Northern Star. Uh, okay. All this for me? This is amazing. Thank you. And Shining Armor, I can't believe you're up there even though you're air sick. I am not air. Oh. I'll quit denying it. See, you, you were good. You're doing good. You were doing good. This is the only activity I need. Hey, there's your one. Now, to be fair, Twilight. I don't know how often this Northern Stars things happen, but you kind of imply like it happens all the time. You just have to be in the right place at the right time to see it. It seems like you could get... It seems like you could get there. Seems like you could get there whenever you wanted to, if, you know... Pretty much any time at sunset, right? I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much about it. Maybe I missed something, but... It, it just seems to me like it seems to me like the Northern Star she she didn't it didn't seem like that should be like a once in a lifetime thing although to have everybody there to see it together yeah it's not as much fun to see it by yourself so I get that uh, <laughs> anyways that was a lot of fun um, I didn't expect to see Iron Will come back that kind of came out of nowhere and uh, that's <laughs> He's just a funny character, you know. He is. He was kind of a douchebag, which I guess he was a little bit of a douchebag in the la in putting your hoof down too. If we're going to be totally honest, he's just a really entertaining douchebag. But uh, he did. He put Twilight in a really 
bad predicament. And I know she, I know she volunteered for it. She kind of stepped into it, but at the same time, she was in a position where she didn't want to disappoint anybody. She she kind of felt a weight of responsibility on her to to not have people disappointed in her as the princess. So I can definitely see where Twilight was coming from, and it was totally on Iron Will. It was totally his bad for for uh, putting her in in a situation like that because. You know, something like that is going to get to Twilight more than it would get to Cadence, um, because you know Cadence has already got her thing going on. Um, but anyways, other than that, well, I mean, it was still fun. I, I'm, that's not a knock on it at all. I'm just pointing that out. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a fun episode. Actually, that's one of the most fun episodes that I've had this season. There's been some really good ones. Uh, I mentioned that. Uh, uh, after what was it um, Health of Information um, that that was one of my favorite episodes this one was too so you got that one and uh, had a lot of fun with a royal problem uh, Perfect Pair was awesome obviously um, uh, Fame and Misfortune I, I think I mentioned that too uh, in the last one that one was that one was fun upon a second viewing um, Oh uh, gosh, what else have we had this season? Rock Solid Friendship was good, very good. Uh, one that was actually way up there, you know, my favorite episodes. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun episodes, and probably a couple that I've left out that I just don't have time to think of off the top of my head because uh, you know things happen. I I don't always think of things right when I need to, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. This was a fun episode. Um, only three more to go. The next one's called Secrets and Pies. I can't remember what 24 is called, and then the last one, the two-parter, is called Shadow Play. Uh, and I have no idea. I'm going to try really hard to avoid spoilers. Um, I usually get spoiled on the finale in some form or fashion, some capacity. Um, I usually get some sort of spoiler in there. I actually don't know anything about this one, so I'm going to try my best to stay spoilers free and not see any major uh, thumbnail spoiler thing or whatever um, on YouTube if I can help it in the next uh, two and a half weeks. So, wish me luck. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop this video now. I think I've chatted long enough. Uh, I'm Stick Boy, and uh, I'll see you guys later.